I'm getting no picture. I am not getting a picture at all. Hey, Jeremy, are you getting a picture? Because I'm getting a complete blank. Are you getting a picture at all, Jeremy? Because I'm getting a blank. My camera's on, but I'm getting nothing from YouTube. Can anybody hear me? Because I'm getting a complete blank. I know you hear me, but do you see anything? Do you see anything on the screen? I know you can hear me, but do you see anything? You see? Really? I'm not seeing a thing. I'm getting nothing from my camera. I don't see a thing on my screen. You, you, you. Okay. Somehow or other, you could see that you could see it, but I can't. All right, guys. If you could see it, then I guess it's fine by me. I don't know, but I can't see a thing. All right. Very well. Okay, I'll just I'll go on here. I'll just play where I got here. I don't know how. Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. This is Game 3 of the American League Division Series. We are at Kansas City Municipal Stadium as the Boston Red Sox take on the Kansas City Royals. This series is tied one game apiece. Three of the four Division Series are tied at one game apiece. And this is the first, and this is the first one we will do tonight. So a pretty interesting matchup here between the Red Sox and the Royals. The winner today, of course, will fit the loser today will face elimination on Saturday, which will be game four of this series. But we got a big game here to play tonight. And so far, the division series round has been very, very interesting. Go figure that one. Jeremy Brooks, Brian Patterson, and David Vega first to join us here at Municipal Stadium. So if everybody is all set and ready to go, it is time to play some serious baseball. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals tonight, their number three starter, a young Paul Splitorf, 12 wins, 12 losses, a 3-1-3 ERA, had 140 strikeouts and 65 walks in 72. We are at Municipal Stadium, definitely a pitcher's park, only 57 home runs hit in 72, minus two to strikeouts and minus one to homers. Don't see that often, an inside pitch. I would like to let you guys know that the 2001 and 2004 seasons are now available from Inside Pitch. He released them today. I posted that information in the Facebook groups. So 2001 is available. Can you guys take that Mariners team all the way? 2004 is available. Can will the boss? Can you have the Boston Red Sox repeat the breaking of the curse? Who knows what will happen there? And of course. Uh, his fast action cards are now available on the front page of the um, on a front page of um, of of the website. So we have uh, lots to go ahead. And yes, a very sad thing that happened with the Baltimore Bridge. Very happy to hear that. I'm very well, not happy to hear that. I should say that is a very sad thing what happened there said that the wrong way my my apologies but yes a moment of silence for Baltimore absolutely with the with the uh, collapse of the bridge so let's get to some game today let's go here as Frank Rosank now joins us here let's go to the top of the first and see what the Red Sox have leading off for the Red Sox will be the center fielder Tommy Harper he has two for eight for the series we're going to use blue white and white dice Royals are the home team the fans here at Municipal Stadium are set. They are ready to play. Let's see what happens. Let's go to the first pitch. 4-4, four, four, possible error. 
Harper, 2-5, that's a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Paul Shaw. His ever rating is a 10. That's a 9, and that's how this game is going to start with an error. A bad, a bad hop by the ball, and Shaw couldn't make it, and that's going to be an E5. And that'll be the first error on the, Roy, on the Royals already. So Harper makes first to start the game on an error. Next batter is the shortstop, Luis Aparicio, Hall of Famer. Absolutely. He's one for eight for the series. He's struggling so far. Harper had 25 stolen bases. That's an 18. Uh, Aparicio will, he will swing away. Split off. Four, five, walk. 15 is high. Aparicio, five, six. That's a power hit to center field. That's a 12. And against the lefty, Aparicio will come through with an early double to center. Will it score Harper? Base runner four. Double double to center. A double to center a zero. A one to four. Harper will score. And he won't. He'll hold it third. So now runners at second and third. They get a double. Aparicio. But they cannot bring Harper in as Harper is held up at third base. As John Haverly joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Infield will come in. The next batter is a left fielder. Captain Carl Yastrzemski. Hall of Famer? Yeah, absolutely. Yaz, however, is 0 for 8. He's still looking for his first hit of the series. Strategy roll, nothing on the 6. Split off will go ahead and pitch. Split off, 1-1, one, one. wild pitch. Nope, the 19 is too high. That will be ball one. Split off, we'll try again. 4-6, that is a blank. Captain Carl, 1-2, that is a power hit to center field. That's a three against the lefty. That will, that will be a base, that will be a double in the, double, yep, that's a double, that's a double in the center field. Harper will come in to score. Aparicio will score. Yes, the second base. And the Red Sox take a quick 2-0 lead. So the Red Sox are jumping out in front early here at Municipal Stadium. And there are now back-to-back -back doubles. And now we will see the right fielder, Reggie Smith. He is 3-for-8 for the series. Infield is still back. Nobody out still in the top of the first. That's a 20. Split Orf turns around, fires the third. Nope. Yaz will get back. And now Split Orf will pitch. Split Orf, 5 2, strikeout, 17. That will miss. Smith, 2 1. And that's popped out to first base. And it will be John Mayberry getting to that. And that will be the first out of the inning. Next up is the third baseman, Rico Petroselli. He is one for six for the series. He does have a home run. Joe and Pico and Jimmy Jam join us here at Municipal Stadium. Strategy roll, nothing on the 14. Yaz stays put. Split off, 3-1, strikeout, 7. Got him, struck him out. That's a big K for split off. That's the first K for him. And now we'll see the catcher punch himself, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Yes, and one of the greatest catchers of all time. He is two for seven for the series so far. Vita Productions joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Anything on the strat? The 17 says no. Yaz will go ahead and pick. Uh, Yaz will stay at second base. Split off will pitch. Split off. Two, three. Error on a grounder. Fisk. 1-6. Nope, that's a fly ball to center. And Amos Otis will get to that one and make the catch. Two runs, two hits, one error. And the Red Sox are taking a quick 2-0 lead here as we go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. Their number three starter, Lynn McLaughlin. Eight wins, seven losses, a 3-4-1 ERA. 112 strikeouts and 58 walks in 72. So now the Royals will bat and leading off will be the shortstop, Freddie Patek. He is 0 for 7 for the series. He's still looking for his first hit. McLaughlin, 1-2. That's a walk plus 10. And that will walk Patek. 
So McLaughlin walks the leadoff batter. First walk given up by McLaughlin. And now an underrated player coming up, center fielder Amos Otis. He is one for seven for the series so far. Infield double play. And Patek is not going anywhere. Uh, they do get the hit and run, I think. But Amos Otis has got home run power. They will call that off. McLaughlin. McLaughlin, 6-1, strikeout. 17 is high. Otis, 5-1. And that is a ground ball to first. 3-2-2. Two, two. Shortstop pivot. Aparicio, minus two is a zero. So the only way, they're not going to get a double play. That is a one. Patek will actually make second base. The only play that Cater had was to take it to the bag and get the out. Yes, I know. Chuck Seelbach did pass away. That I, did, I was made aware of that. So that is a ground out to first. And now we'll see the right fielder, Richie Scheinbloom. He is two for seven for the series. Patek, he'll stay at second base. Two nothing Red Sox already here. Bottom of the first. McLaughlin one one. That's a blank. He's not tired. Shine Bloom one five, and that is a ground. That is a ground ball to short. That'll get taken care of by Aparicio. The throw goes over to first, and Patek he will hold at second base. It was hit too hard, and he will stay right where he is. And now we'll see the first baseman, John Mayberry. He is one for seven for the series, but that one was a big-time grand slam in the first game of this series. Patek, he will stay put. That is a two. Actually, he does get the steal sign, but he will stay where he is. McLaughlin will pitch. McLaughlin, 2-1, strikeout, 9. That will miss. Mayberry, 4-3, and it's a popped out. Pop out to second base, and that's going to be Doug Griffin getting to that. He'll make the play and retire the side. So a leadoff walk, but the Royals can't do anything with it. Two nothing Red Sox after one. I don't know how in the world you guys can see me because my screen is a blank, and I don't know if anyone's had that issue before. You guys can see me, but I can't see the field on, the, on my computer. But as long as you guys can see me, I guess that's good enough. I don't know how you guys can see it. RJL Radio. I guess it's what it is, Justin Ludwig. Leading off for the Red Sox will be the second baseman, Doug Griffin. He is one for six for the series. And yes, Justin Ludwig joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Good to see you, Justin. I haven't seen you in a while. Split Orth. 2-2, two, two, walk, 16, that is high. Griffin, 1-1, one, one. that's a ground ball to third. That'll be handled there by Paul Shaw, and he'll toss it over for the out. Next up is the first baseman, Danny Cater. He is two for seven for the series. Split Orf, he'll go ahead and deal. Split Orf, 1-2, strikeout, 11 is high. Cater, 4-4, four, four, and that's fly to left. Lou Pinella will put it away. And now we'll see the pitcher, Lynn McLaughlin. Not a, he actually could hit a 189 average and four RBIs in 72. Split off with the pitch. Split off. 1-1, one, one, wild pitch, ball one. 1-1, one, one, wild pitch, ball two. 4-6, that is a blank. McLaughlin, 3-1, and this time it's a ground out to short, handled there by Patek, and he will take his time and toss it over, and end the inning. Nothing across for, Spl for Splitorf. We go to the bottom of the second. Again, like to remind you, the 2001 and 2004 seasons are now available for inside pitch. Pick them up, and of course, the fast action cards are available as well, but they're not, they are free. They are on the front of the website for you guys to download and uh, print out. And I recommend two sets of cards, and that should be enough. For those of you who have issues with the cards, um, I probably will do a tutorial a little bit on the cards. I'm still learning them myself. But, of course, you guys know I don't need the cards, but that's okay. They are designed to help people learn the mechanics of the game. Leading off of the Royals, left fielder, sweet, Lou Pinella. And he's 0 for 8. 
He hasn't gotten a hit yet this series. McLaughlin, two, three, strikeout, one, swing and a miss, struck him out. He'll get him. First strikeout for McLaughlin, one down. And now we will see the catcher, Ed Kirkpatrick. He is 0 for 8 for the series as well. Yes, the 2001 series with the season with the weak gap because of 9-11. 2001, of course, a, 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 a heck of a Mariners team that just had, was one of the best regular season teams in history. Just couldn't beat the Yankees in the ALCS. And, of course, a great World Series with the Yankees and the Diamondbacks. One of the better World Series, I think, during that time. McLaughlin, 6-1, strikeout, 12 is high. Kirkpatrick, 1-3, and that is a base hit. He'll hit that one into right, and that is his first hit of the series. And now the third baseman, Paul Shaw. He is 3-8 for eight for the series. He does have a home run. Infield, a double play. Uh, Kirkpatrick got three stolen bases, and he's not getting any here. Shaw does get the hit and run call, but they're going to swing away. Kirkpatrick really not a threat to steal. McLaughlin, 6-6, six, six, strikeout, 10 is high. Shaw, 5-2, that is a ground out to short. 3-2-3, three, three. second base, pivot Griffin, 0, 1-3, it's a double play. No, the throw will go to first base, as it was too slow for Aparicio to get it, and he'll get Shaw, and that is out number two, as Phoenix Knight joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Here comes the second baseman, Cookie Rojas. He is one for seven for the series. So runner on at second base, still two, now two outs here in the bottom of the second. Red Sox have a two-nothing lead. Strategy roll, and that is a three-nothing happening. Where is this game being played? It is at Kansas City Municipal Stadium. This was the last year the Royals played there before they moved into Royal Stadium in 73. Kirkpatrick at second base. McLaughlin with the pitch. 6-4. Hit by pitch. The 15 is going to be just too high. Rojas. 2-6. And that is going to be a ground ball to first. That will get taken care of there by Cater. And he'll take it himself and end the inning. No runs in a hit for the Royals. And it stays 2-0 here after two. Are you sure you guys can see me? Because I can't see anything. Are you sure you guys can see me? My camera says it's on. I'm just not getting anything from the from the from the browser. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You guys say you can see me. Okay. I can't see I can't see anything here. But I'll check, you know what? I'll check the replay and see. I'll see if I got something. I don't know. We go to the top of the third. See my hand waving on the screen. Okay. But obviously you guys are seeing me. I'm just not seeing anything. I got a big blank. I wonder what the problem is. I tried refreshing. If I do refresh, I'm gonna lose you. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. If you guys can see me, that's good enough. I'll deal with it. Tommy Harper leads off for the Bow Sox. He reached on an error his first time up. Top of the third, 2 nothing Red Sox. Game three of this ALDS. Split or 5-4. Against the righties, strikeout plus 10. That's a three, and that's a swing, and a miss, and a strikeout. Second strikeout for Split or one down. Series tied at one in this ALDS. Aparicio is next. He got a double his first time up. Split Orf, 2-4. That's a blank. Aparicio, 4-1. And that is a ground out to third. Shaw will go ahead and handle that. Toss it over for out number two. Here's Yaz. Yaz got a double his first time up. Split Orf, 2-1. Strikeout, 15 is high. Yaz, 4-4. Four, four, and that is a fly to left. And Lou Pinella. He'll come under it and get it. And since the first inning, Splitorf has settled down. Three up, three down. Bottom of the third coming up. So, yes, absolutely. So, as I said, yes, 2001 and 2004 are available. The 2004 season, can you guys break the curse of the Bambino again with the Red Sox? 
Johnson. Give it a try, absolutely. I, of course, you guys know I've already purchased those two seasons. They will be on their way to me, I'm sure, pretty quickly. Leading off for the Royals will be the pitcher, Paul Splitorf. He can hit 225 average and three RBIs in 72. Two nothing Bo Sox. McLaughlin, 4 1, wild pitch, ball one. 3 4, that's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 6 5, and Splitorf is going to come through. He hits that one deep into right field, and that is going to be a leadoff triple for him. Splitorf leads off with a three bagger, and he will wind up at third base with a big time triple. DH, I don't need no stinking DH. Infield will come in, and now the batter is Patek. Patek walked his first time up. Runner on at third. Sports time machine. Utah Mike joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Strategy roll, nothing on the 14. McLaughlin, 4-3. That is a range play. Patek, 2-5. That's a double into center field. But it's going to be have to up to Tommy Harper to get it. His range is a three. That's a five. It'll be a double. Patek will wind up at second base. Split off will score. It's two to one. So the Royals do get one back. A triple by Split off, and now a double by Patek. And that is Patek's first hit of the series. It will now bring up Otis. And he's 0 for 1. 2 to 1 now. Bottom of the third. Infield is back. Still no one out. Strategy roll. And that's an 18. And Otis gets the bunt sign. But he's saying, you're kidding me? I'm swinging away. Otis is 0 for 1. McLaughlin. 6-4. Hit by pitch. The 17 just missed. Otis. 2-2. Two, two, and that's fly to center field. This time, Harper will make the play. That is out number one. Patek base runner four hit the center minus two. Harper plus one. A one to three. Patek will get the third. He will not. It wasn't deep enough. He'll stay at second base. Batter now is Shine Bloom. Shine Bloom is over one. My Basement Media Productions. Dr. Nick joins us here at Municipal Stadium. By the way, Dr. Nick is the official doctor of RJL Network. Patek on second base. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 12. Shine Bloom will swing. McLaughlin. 1 3. Against the switch left. That's an automatic out. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. That'll get handled by Aparicio. The throw goes to first. Patek. Uh, he will hold at second base. Not hit well enough. To hit too hard. And it'll keep Patek at second. Two away. And now the dangerous Mayberry. Mayberry is 0 for 1. Ow, Red Sox fan. King of the Hill joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Check out that amazing, spectacular, awesome, wonderful, animal, invulnerable, invincible, indefatigable channel there is on the YouTube. And by the way, he is playing some serious app of football. And he is getting darn good at it. And I don't know how because I'm watching Red Owl Red Sox fan play it. I'm watching Dave Gardner play it. And I've been watching, what is it, uh, Jason's uh, new channel. I subscribe to that. And I have no idea what they're doing. So I just sit back and watch. Patek at second base. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 17. Patek at second. Mayberry at the plate. McLaughlin. 6-4. Hit by pitch. Five. This time he hit him. Plunk. Ouch. McLaughlin hit a lot of batters, I think, at 72. Has a hit by pitch of plus 10. And he will hit Mayberry. First hit batter of the game. And now the batter is Pinella. Pinella is 0 for 1. Runners at first and second. Red Sox lead 2 to 1 here. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 4. McLaughlin will now pitch to Pinella. McLaughlin, 3 1. Strikeout 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. Big K. That is the second strikeout for McLaughlin. But one run on two hits and a hit batter. It's 2-1 to one now after three as the Red Sox and the Royals. Whoever wins today, the loser faces elimination on Saturday. That will be the next scheduled game in this ALDS. 
We go to the top of the fourth. Leading off for the Red Sox will be Reggie Smith. He is 0 for 1. Fans, this is the last year for a municipal stadium. The Royals are moving to the Royals Stadium next year, I believe, in 73. Split or 6 4, strikeout 11. That will miss. Reggie Smith is a 12, but minus 2 makes him a 10. Smith, 1 5, but he will still fly out the center. That's going to be Amos Otis covering the ball. Next batter is Petroselli. Petroselli is 0 for 1. You really wish Chris had put on base percentage of slug on the batted cards. I'll tell you right now, I don't, I don't think there's enough room for that. I don't think there's enough room to put those on there. It would be nice if he did, but to me, it's, it's okay. I can deal with it. But no, it's not a bad idea, Justin. Split Orf. 5-2, strikeout 10. That is too high. Petroselli, 2-4, base hit, right past short. And the Red Sox will get a base runner. One out single for Petroselli. Here comes Pudge. Pudge is 0 for 1. Infield is double play. There is one out. Petroselli had no stolen bases, and he will not get any here. Splitorf will go ahead and deal. Splitorf, 3-2, strikeout 8. He will get Fisk on that. Struck him out. And that is strikeout number three for Splitorf. Two away. And now here comes Griffin. Griffin is 0 for 1. Anything on the strat? The 6 says no. Petroselli will stay where he is. Splitorf gets the sign from Kirkpatrick. Here comes the deal. Splitorf. 5-4. Against the righty, it's a strikeout plus 10. That's a 14, and that will get him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. Fourth K for split orf. No runs and a hit. It will stay 2-1, to one, going to the bottom of the fourth. Leading off for the Royals will be Ed Kirkpatrick. He got a base hit his first time up. McLaughlin with the deal. 5-4 at the park. Municipal Stadium. 6-2. Ground out the third. That'll be taken care of there by Petroselli. And he will toss it over for the out. Next up is Shaw. Shaw is 0-1. McLaughlin sets up here and deals. McLaughlin, 6-6, six, six, strikeout, 4, swing and a miss, struck him out. He will get Shaw on that one. That was a close one, though. Shaw just missed it. It was a good pitch. And that is the third K for McLaughlin. And now here's Rojas. Rojas is 0-1. McLaughlin sets up for the pitch. 1-6 against the righty, strikeout, 18. That's high. Rojas, 3-3, three, three. that's a power hit to right field, that's an 8 against the righty though, that's going to be too high, it'll die out there, right fielder Reggie Smith will get to it, and he will make the catch, and retire the side, 1-2-3, go the Royals, still 2-1 to one in favor of the Bo Sox. Can I ask, is everybody excited that opening day of baseball season is this week? I'd like to know if all you guys are as excited as I am. I know some of you are following the college basketball tournament. I am as well. But who here is not excited for opening day? Come on. Every team in Major League Baseball starts with the same record, O and O. And when I go to a spring training game, I always look upon the players and say, you know what, I'm watching all these guys play here in March. And every single one of these guys is hoping they're playing in October. So, yes, if you're not excited about base, if you're not excited about opening day and what your season can possibly do, okay, you're not a baseball fan. We go to the top of the fifth. Danny Cater leads off for the Bo Sox. He's 0 for 1. You don't do excitement, I'm boring like that. <laughs> Yes, I'm excited. My Mets open up with a series against the Milwaukee Brewers uh, in City Field. Splitorf will pitch to Cater. Splitorf, 6-2, range play. 
Cater, 6'4", power hit, center field. That's a seven against the lefty. That's going to be a double, but it's a but it's a range play for Amos Otis. He's going after it. He was pretty good. His range is a four, and he's going to make the catch and take a double away from Danny Cater. That's a web gem. Da-da-da, da-da-da. A web gem. What a play by Amos Otis in center field. That'll be an out. And now here's McLaughlin. McLaughlin is 0 for 1. Split orf. He will go ahead and pitch. Mike Terra Supernova joins us here at Municipal Stadium. 3-4. Strikeout 2. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is the fifth K for Split orf. He has definitely settled down since the first inning. And now Harper. Harper is 0 for 2, but he reached on an error. Split orf. 2-2. Two, two. Walk. 8. That is ball 4. He will walk Harper. Harper will trot the first. Second time he's been on base. It'll now bring up Aparicio. He's 1 for 2 with a double. Harper had 25 stolen bases. That is a 1, and I'm going to send him. 16 minus 1 is 15. Kirkpatrick a 0. They're sending Harper to second. A 1 to 15. He is safe. And he just got out of the tag. That's a 14. He is safe there. Just got it. Stolen base for Harper. Now that puts a runner in scoring position. Roll another strat. And that is a four, and he will stay at second base. So now runner in scoring position on a stolen base by Harper. Splitorf will now pitch to Aparicio. Splitorf, 6-3, hit by pitch. Seven, that is high. Aparicio, 5-6, it's a power hit to center field. That is a six, and against the lefty, it will be a base hit. Single to center. Harper with two outs, base runner five. Single to center, plus one is a six. There's not going to be a throw. Harper comes around third. He will score. Three to one, Red Sox. Stadium groans. <sighs> RBI single by Aparicio, his second hit of the ball game. And the stolen base comes up good for that. And now the batter is Yaz. Yaz is one for two with a double. So Aparicio on it first now. He's got three stolen bases. And I just lost one of the dice. And where did it go? All the way here. Yeah. Whatever you guys do, don't get old. Don't get old, guys. It's the worst thing you can do to yourselves. The bot my body is creaking every day. We'll try that again. All right, so we know nothing's happening. So Splitorf will go ahead and he will pitch. Splitorf, 6-3, hit by pitch, 5. Nope, that's too high. Yes, 4-5, and that is a grounder to third. That'll get taken care of there by Paul Shaw. He'll make the play, toss it over, and end the inning. One run, one hit, one stolen base, and a walk. And the Red Sox are once again out in front by two runs as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Too late, bro. <laughs> yes, people, don't get old, whatever you do. It's the worst thing you can do to yourself. Bottom of the fifth inning, leading off for KC will be Paul Splitorf. He got a triple his first time up. McLaughlin, he will pitch. McLaughlin, 6-3, strikeout 20. Believe it or not, he's not striking that out. At least not there. Splitorf, 1-6, and Splitorf gets a base hit to center field. Splitorf is 2-2. Two for two. Again, Splitorf says, DH, I don't need no stinking DH. Infield a double play depth. That'll bring up Pottek, because right now Splitorf's doing the damage here at the plate more than he is on the mound. McLaughlin will go ahead. Strategy roll. Splitorf staying right where he is. McLaughlin with the deal. McLaughlin, 3-4. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 6-1. And that is a blank. We have a rare play with men on. Remember, injuries are full-time. 
45. Grounder to shortstop who throws in the dirt, making the first baseman scoop the ball. Resolve play using a range play check for the first baseman to see if he scoops the ball. Batter out, otherwise E6. So it's a range play for first base, and that is Doug Cater. His range is a four. Nope, he's not going to get it, and that means that's going to be that's going to be an error on the shortstop. A bad throw by Luis Aparicio, and that means the runners advance. So that will be an error, and that is an E6. First error on the Red Sox. And now here's Otis. So right now McLaughlin giving Aparicio. Aparicio say, yeah, you went ahead and got us an RBI the last inning, but now you can't make a good throw. Infield still a double play depth. Three to one here. Tied at one in the series. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 18. Otis does get the bunt sign, but of course you're swinging in this situation. McLaughlin will go ahead and pitch. McLaughlin, 6-3, strikeout. 13 is high. Otis, 2-4, it's a ground ball to short. 3-2-2, two, two. second base, pivot, Griffin, 0, a 1-2, to two. it's a double play. No, split orf will go to third, Patek out at second, Otis takes first, and there is one out. They cannot turn the double play, but they will get one base on the fielder's choice. And now here's Shinebloom. Shine Bloom is 0 for 2. They are going to call the infield in and not allow a run to score here. They do have a 3 to 1 lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Strategy, nothing on the six. Otis is going to stay where he is. Split off at third. Otis at first. McLaughlin, he will pitch. McLaughlin, 5 3, walk 11. And yep, that's ball four. He walked him. And now the bases are loaded for John Mayberry, and he already has a grand slam in this series. Mayberry is 0 for 1, got hit by a pitch his last time up. They're going to call infield double play this time and try to turn the 2. So here comes McLaughlin against Mayberry. Mayberry already has a grand slam. Bases are loaded. Bottom of the fifth, 3-1 Red Sox. Crowd is loud, absolutely. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 14. McLaughlin will deal with Mayberry. The fans are loud here at Municipal. They are, they are going crazy. McLaughlin with the pitch. 4-5, strikeout three. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That was huge. That is a big K. That is a fourth strikeout from McLaughlin. Two down. But now you got a guy that can also hit one out, and that's Lou. Pinella's is 0 for 2, though. He has struck out twice. Split Orf, Otis, Shine Bloom on base. 3 to 1 Red Sox. Series tied 1 1 in this ALDS. McLaughlin will go ahead and pitch. Strategy roll. Nothing happening. Pinella will swing. McLaughlin gets the sign, and now he will deal. McLaughlin, 1-4. Possible error. Pinella, 5-4. It's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Luis Aparicio. His error rating is a 7. That's a 2. It handcuffs him. It's an error, and a run will score. Holy cow, Aparicio makes a mistake again. Aparicio cannot make the play as he bobbles it. It's now 3-2. to two. Stadium cheers. Yay! Another E6 on Aparicio. It's a second error on the Red Sox in this inning. Both on Aparicio. The bases are still loaded now for Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is one for two. McLaughlin looking at Aparicio. And you know Aparicio is going to get a serious uh, talking to in the dugout. Strategy roll. Nothing on the five. McLaughlin says, come on, it should have some outs here. This inning should be over. Can Kirkpatrick make the Red Sox pay for it? Pitch. 6-4. Hit by pitch. 13. Plunk. 
out, and a run will score. McLaughlin, a 5 plus 10 makes him a 15. That's a 13. This game is tied. Stadium cheers. Yay! And McLaughlin hits Kirkpatrick to bring in a run. That is the second hit batter of the game. From now on, any hit batters, pitchers eliminated. And yes, the brawl will come into play in the rare play. Now the batter is Shawl. Shawl is 0 for 2. Shine Bloom on at third. Pinella at second. Kirkpatrick on at first. McLaughlin suddenly lost control here, but the errors did not help him. Both those runs are earned are unearned. Strategy roll. Nothing on the two. Nobody moves. McLaughlin trying to get Shaw out. Here comes the pitch. McLaughlin, five fives to rake out. 13 is high. Shaw, one three. It's a power hit to right field. That's a four. And against the righty, that is going to be a double to right. Shinebloom will score. Pinella will score. Kirkpatrick, base runner three. Double to right, minus two. But with two outs, it's really a vice runner four. So a one to two, Kirkpatrick will score. No, he'll hold it third. Two RBI double for Shaw. Five, three Red Sox uh, Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay! An R a two RBI double by Paul Shaw puts the Royals ahead. And now the batter is Rojas. And McLaughlin, I think, he's not tired yet, but right now he's just not getting it done. I think that may be it for him. And although Rojas does bat better against lefties, eh. They got a couple. They're going to let McLaughlin try to finish out the inning. He goes up another run. He's out. McLaughlin will pitch to Rojas. Now a 5-3 game here as the Royals put up four in this inning. Two gigantic errors, both on Aparicio. Strategy roll. Nothing on the six. Kirkpatrick stays at third. Shaw on at second. McLaughlin, 1-6 against the righty. Strikeout. The eight is high. Rojas. 6-4, and that is a ground ball to second base. Doug Griffin will go ahead and get it. He'll throw it over to first and retire the side. Four runs, only two hits, but two errors, a walk, and a hit by pitch. And the Royals have taken a 5-3 lead here after five. Go to the top of the sixth. Split off back on the mound. Reggie Smith leads off for the Red Sox. And right now, Luis Aparicio is getting an earful on the dugout for committing two huge errors. But now, but we still got well, we still got lots of baseball left. Split off. He will go ahead and pitch. Split off, 6-6, six, six. range play at the park. Municipal, 3-1, single pass second, but it's a range play for Cookie Rojas. He wasn't too bad. His range is a three, and he'll make the play. Nice job by Rojas. He'll throw it over to first for the out. He'll get out Smith, and now Petroselli. Petroselli, one for two. Split off, he will pitch. 6-1. Home run chance. Righty. 1-11. to The 20 is too high. Petroselli. 5-5. Instead, he hits a deep fly ball to center field. Going back for it is Otis. He's going to get to the track. He will have the room and put it away for the out. And now Pudge. Pudge is 0-2. Split off. He'll go ahead and prepare the pitch. Split or four, five, walk, eight. That is ball four. Pudge draws a two-out walk to keep the inning going. The batter now is Griffin, 
And Griffin is 0 for 2. Fisk on it first. Two outs. 5-3 Royals here. Top of the sixth inning. Series tied at 1 in this ALDS. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 5. Fisk stays where he is. Split Orf with the pitch. Split Orf. 6-3. Hit by pitch. 5. No, that will not hit him. Griffin. 1-2. But it's a ground out to short. It'll be handled there by Patek. And he is going to throw to first to get Griffin. And that will end the inning. Nothing across except a walk. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Leading off for the Royals will be the pitcher, Paul Splitorf. He's two for two tonight, a triple and a single. And McLaughlin, he can pitch to two more batters before he tires. He's also due to bat second in the seventh. They're going to let him pitch to see if he can maybe get some uh, confidence back. But really, it wasn't all his fault. He had a guy make two errors in the ball, and two errors. McLaughlin with the pitch. McLaughlin, 5 4. That's at the park. Municipal. Two, three, and he'll get him. That's a ground out to short. Handled there by Aparicio, and the throw goes over. Next batter is Patek. Patek is one for two, a double and a walk, and reached on an error. McLaughlin, one, three, against the righty, blank. Patek, four, one, fly out the right. Reggie Smith will come under that and get it. For out number two. McLaughlin is now tired. He says, let me try to finish this inning out. The next batter is Otis. And Otis is 0 for 3. McLaughlin trying to finish strong here for the Bow Sox. Now down by two runs. McLaughlin with the pitch. McLaughlin, 6-4. Hit by pitch. 12, plunk, ouch, and he is gone. He will hit Otis. That is the third hit batter of the game, and McLaughlin does have to come out. He is thrown out of the game by the umpire. He has seen enough. The next batter will be Shinebloom. And it's the sixth inning. I don't do double switches before the seventh, so we will see a new pitcher. And they're just looking to get one out. And let's see who the Red Sox are going to go with. And they will go with... Uh, they're going to try to get one out, and they're going to go with Gary Peters. Three wins, three losses, a save, a 4-3-2 ERA. Peters will be the second Red Sox pitcher, but his job is just to go ahead and try to get one out here. So Otis on it first, bottom of the sixth now, 5-3. Peters will pitch to Shinebloom. Strategy, nothing on the 10. Otis stays where he is. Peters with the pitch. Peters, 6-3. That's a blank. He's not tired. Shine Bloom, 3-5. And it's a ground out to short. That'll be handled by Aparicio. Picks it up. Throws to first to get Shine Bloom. And the inning will end there. Nothing across except to hit batter. And we're still 5-3 after 6. Top of the seventh. Splitorf can pitch to one more batter before he tires. The leadoff batter is Doug Griffin, and that's going to be it for Splitorf. He did his job. The Royals are going to go to the bullpen here, and they're going to bring on a right-hander. So coming on to pitch for the Royals is going to be is going to be Ted Abernathy. Three wins, four losses, five saves, a 1-7-0 ERA. Abernathy coming on, making an appearance. He actually has no, he actually has no uh, stats at the moment, but he has made an appearance already. So Ted Abernathy looking for a hold here. Top of the seven, 5-3. Danny K Doug Griffin, is it, actually, no, it's not Griffin, it's Cater. Cater's the leadoff batter, not Griffin. My bad. Danny Cater. Still bring him on there. So Cater will bat. He's 0 for 2. Abernathy with the pitch. 
Abernathy, 6'6", six, six, strikeout, 13, that is high. Cater, 4-1, and it's a line out right to short. Patek is right there, one out. And that's going to be it. Gary Peters coming back. He's done his job. And the Red Sox will go to the bench. And coming on to pinch it for the Red Sox will be a young Ben Ogilvie. 241 average, eight homers, 30 RBIs. At least I think he's young. Ogilvie will go up against Abernathy here. One out, top of the seven. Abernathy. Actually caught that. 4-3. That is a blank. He's not tired. Ogilvie, 3-6. Ground out to first. Taken care of there by Mayberry. And he'll take it to the bag himself. Two away. And now here's Harper. Harper is... He's, at, he's 0 for 2. Reached on an error and walked. Abernathy. He'll go ahead and pitch. Abernathy, 6-2. That is an automatic out. And it's going to be a ground out short, handled easily by Patek. He will take his time, toss it over, and end the inning. One, two, three, go the Red Sox. And they are down 5-3 here. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. We go back to the senior circuit tomorrow night on the network. Game three of the National League Division Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. It will be Ross Grimsley going for the Reds and Bill Hands will be going for the Cubs. That will be tomorrow's game on the network from Wrigley Field as we go back to the senior circuit now for two games. That'll be tomorrow night. I'm sure Brian B. will not miss that one as he will be there to manage his Reds against the Cubs. That series is still a long way to go. That series is tied at one. Reds and the Cubs tomorrow night. Grimsley and hands here on the network. We go to the bottom of the seventh. 5-3 Royals. Leading off for Kansas City will be John Mayberry. Red Sox need a pitcher. And they got left, right, left coming up. And they are going to go with... I know Spaceman Lee was the main closer, but there really isn't really a set closer for this team. And you got lefty. I'm going to go, and I think you're going to bring on the lefty. Coming on to pitch for the Red Sox will be... Bill Spaceman Lee, seven wins, four losses, five saves, 3 2 0 ERA. Lee actually does have a hold in the series so far. So he will come on to pitch. He will be the third Red Sox pitcher. Spaceman on the mound. You guys still with me? Chat hasn't moved in the last uh, 15 minutes. Lee will go ahead and pitch to Mayberry. Bottom of the seven, 5 3 Royals. Lee, 5 6, wild pitch, ball one. Lee again, 5-5, five, five. range play, Mayberry, 2-5, that's a ground ball to first, that ball is hit to Danny Cater, he was good, his range is a 4, and he's not going to get that one though, and that is going to be hit down the line, and Mayberry's going to lead off with a double. Mayberry leads off with a two-bagger, he'll go ahead and get to second. It'll now bring up Pinella, and Pinella is 0, for 2, is 0 for 3, but reached on an error. Good to see everybody there, just making sure. I get scared when nobody chats or anything like that. Not because 
you guys aren't paying attention uh, just because I still have a connection. That's all. Because sometimes I lose a connection. I don't know it. Webb Johnson just joins here at Municipal Stadium. Mayberry on its second. Strategy. Nothing on the 16. Spaceman will pitch to Pinella. Spaceman, 6-5. Range play at the park. Municipal, 5-6. It's a fly ball to right field. Going after it is Reggie Smith. His range is a three. And he's not getting that one either. And that's going to be a base hit to right. Mayberry, base runner one. Base running one. A single to right, plus one. So a one or a two, Mayberry will score. He won't. He'll hold a third. But it is a base hit. And now runners at the corners here. And the Royals are looking to try to get some more runs. Here's Kirkpatrick. He is one for two. Singleton got hit by a pitch. Infield playing in. They really need to. Mayberry, he'll go ahead and he... He will go ahead. Will where will Spaceman be on four eight for the eclipse? I don't know where Spaceman will be. Maybe on the maybe on the, watching himself. Strategy roll. Nothing on the thirteen. Mayberry on at third. Pinnell on at first. Nobody out. Bottom of the seven. Royals already looking for more. Spaceman six six against the lefty. That is a straight home run result against the lefty. Kirkpatrick needs a seven. That is a seven. That ball is actually going to hit, go right into the right field, and that's just going to clear the wall. No, I'm sorry, but a minus one makes him a six. That's too high. Oh, I almost blew it. I almost blew it. Home, home run, a minus one. That seven becomes a six. It will be too high. Kirkpatrick, one five, but he will still get a base hit to left field. It's a single. Mayberry will score. Single to left. Pinella, base runner three. Let's see. Single to left. Minus three of zero. Pinella has to hold it second. But Kirkpatrick gets a base hit. It's 6 3 Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay. Almost forgot about the adjustment. Whoops. But I caught it in time. Municipal Stadium has a minus one to home runs. Only 57 were hit there that year, and that was a seven, and that was just a little too high for Kirkpatrick. But now runners at first and second, still no one out. Here is Shaw. Shaw is one for three. Now 6-3 Royals, not looking good for the Red Sox in this one. Infield that double play, still no one out. Strategy rolls are still on. Nothing on the 15. Spaceman will pitch. Spaceman, 4-3, strikeout, 8. That is too high. Shaw, 4-1, base hit, right field. It's a single. Pinella, base runner, 3. Single to right, a 0, a 1-3. to three. Pinella will score, and he will hold it third, and the bases are loaded. Nothing going right for the Red Sox right now. And here comes Cookie Rojas. And right now, Spaceman just not coming in there. And the bases are loaded here. 6-3 Royals, and they're trying to blow it wide open. And they're going to let Lee pitch. Rojas is a little bit worse against lefties. Bases loaded. No one out. Bottom of the seven. Now 6-3 Royals. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. The infield is in. No choice. Lee will pitch. Lee, 2-2. Two, two. That is at the park. Municipal Stadium, 4-6. And it's a ground ball to second base. The infield is in. So Bill Lee, a double play rating of three. Nothing from Lee, nothing from, from Rojas is a three. Nothing from Lee. And it's hit the second base, so the infield is in. Pinellas' base running rating is a one. So on a one to three, this is a double play. And, of course, it's a six, which means it's a slow rolling grounder to second base. The only play Griffin's got is the throw to first. Pinella will score. Runners will move up. It's seven to three. Stadium cheers. Yay! And the Red Sox are just not getting any breaks. So Rojas does get an RBI on the fielder's choice. 
And we're going to see a pinch hitter for Ted Abernathy. And coming on to pinch hit for the Red, for the Royals is going to be is going to be Carl Taylor, 265 average, no homers, 11 RBIs. That is all for Spaceman. They have seen enough as Lee as Spaceman comes in and he was, well, pretty much in outer space. The Red Sox will go to the will go to the bullpen. And they're going to go ahead and bring out Don Newhauser. Four wins, two losses, four saves, a 2-4-3 ERA. Newhauser is now the fourth Red Sox pitcher. Now 7-3 to three Royals. Infield still in. The six was the only way that we're probably going to get a run. And they just got it. Newhauser will pitch. Strategy rolls are now off. Newhauser, 4-5, strikeout, 16. That's high. Taylor, 4-5, and that's a fly out to center field. Fly ball to center, that's caught by Harper. Taylor, a very good sacrifice fly rating. His sacrifice fly rating is a 4. That is a 1. It will bring up Kirkpatrick. He will score. Shaw, a base running rating of 2, but it still hit the center field, which is a minus 2, which makes him a 0. He will hold automatically. It's now 8-3 to three Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay! The Royals are now really putting the damage on the Red Sox. And with two away, here's Patek. And right now, the Royals holding an 8-3 to three lead here. Shaw on at second. Newhauser will pitch to Patek. Patek is one for one for three. Singled, walked, and reached on an error. Newhauser will pitch. Newhauser, 4-4. Four, four, strikeout, eight. That is too high. Patek, 2-6. That's grounded to third base. Getting over there is Petroselli. He will get it and throw it over and retire the side. Three runs, four hits. And the Royals are going to have a five-run lead here after seven, eight to three over the Red Sox. We go to the top of the eighth. Leading off for Boston will be Luis Aparicio. He gets a sarcastic cheer from the Royals crowd saying, hey, thanks for those errors. Pitcher needed for the Royals, and their bullpen isn't that bad. And let's see, got right, left, and switch. And coming on to pitch for the, for the Royals is going to be Tom Murphy. Four wins, four losses, save, a 3-3-6 ERA. Murphy is the third Royal pitcher, and he can pitch to about eight, and we'll see how long he can go. So Tom Murphy will pitch for the Royals. Aparicio leads off eight to three in favor of Kansas City. Murphy will go ahead and he will pitch. Murphy, one, five, blank. Aparicio, five, six. That's a power hit to center field. That's a 10, and against the righty, Aparicio leads off the inning with a, with a double. Aparicio trying to make up for the errors. He now has two doubles. He's getting the hits, but he needs to feel better at short. Red Sox a long way to go. Here comes Yaz. Yaz is one for three with a double. Infield is back in normal. Jim Connell joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Aparicio at second. Murphy will pitch. Murphy, 1-4. Home run chance. Lefty, though, zero. Not happening. Yes, 1-1. One, one. And that is a grounder to short. Patek will go ahead and get that, throw it over to first. And Aparicio, he will make third. Slow rolling grounder to short allows Aparicio to get the third. There is one out. 
And now here's Smith. Smith is 0 for 3. Aparicio on at third. Royals are going to play. They're going to play the infield back. they got a five-run lead. They're looking for outs. Murphy with the pick. Murphy, 4-3. Range play. Smith, 4-3 against the righty. That's a fly ball to right field. Going after it is Richie Scheinbloom. His range is a three. Nope, that's going to be... That's going to be a base hit. Reggie Smith will hit it in front of him. And Aparicio will come in to score. It's 8-4. to four. So the Red Sox get one back. An RBI single by Reggie Smith. That's his first hit of the game. And now here's Petroselli. Petroselli, one for three. He's got a single. Infield, a double play depth. Now it's an 8-4 to four game. Strategy rolls are still off. Murphy with the pitch. Murphy, 5-5. Five, five. That is a blank. He's not tired. Petroselli, 3-2. And that's fly to left. Lou Pinella will get to it and make the play for the out to away. And now a chance for Pudge. Came in late, but got present. Take it from a scalper. <laughs> Pudge is up. He is 0-2 with a walk. Smith on it first. Loser here faces elimination on Saturday night for game four of this ALDS. Smith on it first. Murphy with the pitch. Murphy, 1-3 against the righty. Strikeout, 17 is high. Pudge, 5-2, base hit. He'll hit that one in the center field. That will be a single. With two outs, Reggie Smith, base one or four. Single to center, though, minus two. A one to two, Smith will get the third. He will hold it second, and maybe that's the right thing to do. So Pudge gets a hit. That's his first hit of the game. The batter now is Griffin, and Griffin is 0 for 3. Griffin, not much home run power, though. But Smith are looking to try to get some more runs. Eight to four. Smith on at second. Fisk on at first. Dan Atkins joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Strategy rolls are still off. Murphy will deal. Murphy, 5-2. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium getting a lot of work tonight. Municipal Stadium, 1-2. It's a single plus double to right field. That means Reggie Smith does come in to score. Fisk does go to third. Griffin, however, has to try for second. Base runner two. That's a double. That is a double to right field. Right fielder is Shinebloom. His arm rating is a zero. So a one or a two, Griffin will take second base. He won't. He'll put on the brakes and head back to first, but it's now eight to five. So now it's so a single there by Griffin. Now runners at the corners. The batter now is Cater. And that's going to be it for Tom Murphy. They're going to take him out. They've seen enough of him. And the Royals will go back to the bullpen to try to get an out. And coming on to pitch for the Royals is going to be Al Fitzmorris. Two wins, five losses, three saves. A 3.74 ERA. Fitzmorris now tries to come in here and get it out. So now runners of the corners, now 8 to 5. D. Smith joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Two outs. Pudge on at third. Griffin on at first. Cater does have home run power. A swing and a bat. He ties this game up. 8 to 5. Top of the eighth inning. Strategy rolls are still off. Fitzmorris now coming in to pitch the Gator. Here comes the pitch. Fitzmorris, 6-4, strikeout 12. That is high. Gator, 5-4. It's a base hit pass short. It's a single. Fisk will come in to score. Griffin, base runner three with two outs. That will not be enough. He will hold it second. It's now 8-6. to six. The Red Sox are back in the game. Cater with an RBI single. And now we'll see a pinch hitter for Don Newhauser as he will leave the game.
And coming on to pinch hit, pinch hit for the Red Sox is going to be Rick Miller. 214 average, three homers, 15 RBIs, but he's got home run power. So runners at first and second, now an 8-6 to six ball game as the Royals are now getting some of those runs back. The pitcher spot is 0-3. for 3. Fitzmorris looking to pitch to Miller. Still two outs, top of the eighth. Strategy rolls are back on. Nothing on the seven. Nobody moves. Fitzmorris will go ahead and he will pitch. 3-3, three, three, walk, nine, ball four, bases loaded. He goes ahead and walks Miller, and now the bases are loaded. And the batter is Tommy Harper. Harper is 0 for 3, walked, reached on a narrow, stole a base. The fans here at Municipal Stadium are now very nervous. Now an 8-6 to six lead here in the top of the 8th. Fitzmorris coming in to pitch to Harper. The fans here now are beginning to wonder what's going on. Strategy rolls are back on. Nothing on the 8. Nobody moves. Fitzmorris will pitch to Harper. The fans here are loud, hoping Fitzmorris can get a good pitch. Fitzmorris with the pitch. 2-2, two, two. range play at the park, Municipal Stadium, 4-1, it's a single to center field, but it's a range play for Amos Otis, he was good, Otis going after it, his range is a 4, and he's got it, he makes the catch and the side is retired, what a play by Amos Otis, da-da-da, da-da-da. Flies out to center as Otis makes a heck of a play in center field to probably save the game. But the Red Sox are back in it. Three runs, five hits. And it is eight to six as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Eight to six now. Leading off for the Royals will be Amos Otis. Very underrated player in baseball history. Heck of a player. He gets a very nice ovation from the Municipal Stadium crowd. Red Sox need a pitcher. And coming on to pitch is going to be, is going to be Bobby Bolin. No wins, a loss, five saves, a 2.93 ERA. Bolin is Red Sox pitcher number five. He will pitch to Otis here. Bottom of the eighth, now eight to six. Bolin with the pitch. Bolin, one, one. Hit by pitch. Eight, plunk. Ouch. He hit Otis, and Bolin is ejected. Bolin comes in for one batter. He hits Otis. He's a four. Plus four makes him an eight. That is an eight. That is the fourth hit batter. And Otis has been hit twice. And they throw Bolin right out of there. And now they're going to have to bring in Ken Tatum. No wins, two losses, four saves, a 307 ERA. Tatum comes in as Bolin is ejected. And now the batter for the Royals is Shinebloom. Shinebloom is 0 for 3 with a walk. Infield a double play. Strategy rolls are on. And nothing on the 16. Otis stays put. Tatum will go ahead and he will pitch. Tatum, 3-4. That is a walk plus 10. That is a 9. And that is ball 4. Red Sox pitchers have been awful here. You just got within two runs and now you've walked the field. You got a hit batter and you walk another one. And now the batter is Mayberry. Mayberry is one for three, sink doubled, and he got and he got hit by a pitch. Runners at first and second. Tatum will now pitch to Mayberry. Strategy rolls. Nothing on the 14. Tatum will pitch. 
Tatum, 2-6. Against the lefty, it's a base hit right up the middle, past the pitcher, and that's going to score a run. Otis will come around from second. He will score. Shinebloom will hold at second base. Mayberry comes through with a big hit. It's 9-6. to six. The Royals get one back. Stadium cheers. Yay! And now Pinella. Pinella is one for four. Singled and reached on an air. Now a nine to six lead by the Royals. Nobody out in the bottom of the eighth. Strategy rolls are off. Tatum can still pitch two, four more batters. And here comes the pitch from Tatum. Tatum, 1-1, one, one, strikeout, 15 is high. Pinella, 3-6, and that's popped out to short. Infield fly rule, nobody moves. And that's going to be caught by Aparicio for the out. And now Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is two for three, two singles, and got hit by a pitch. But now one out, 9-6 to six Royals. Strategy rolls are off. Tatum. 4-3 against the lefty. Strikeout. 13 is high. Kirkpatrick. 4-3. And that's a ground out to second base. 1-0-1. One, one. Shortstop Aparicio. Minus two. No chance of a double play. So the question is, is uh, who's out? That's a three. So Shineboom moves to third. Mayberry thrown out at second base. Kirkpatrick takes first. Two down. Fielder's choice. Now a chance for Shaw with two men down near. Shaw is two for four, a single and a double. Two outs, nine to six Royals here. Bottom of the eighth, Royals and Red Sox tied at one in this series. Tatum, he will pitch. Tatum, 4-4, four, four, walk, 11. That's ball four. Another base on balls given up by the, by the Red Sox. They've given up a lot of walks today. One, two, three, four. Well, actually, not that many, but still quite a bit. Plus, the hit batters. The hit batters really didn't help. The bases are loaded now for Rojas, and he will bat. Rojas is 0 for 4. He's still looking for his first hit of the game. Tatum will pitch to Rojas. He'll be tired after him. Two men down, bottom of the eight, nine, six. Tatum's got to make a good pitch. 1-3. And wild pitch, but that will be ball one. The 14 is high. And all of a sudden, Pudge says, hey, I need a good pitch. Not that. Try again. Tatum will deal. 3-2. Error on a grounder. Rojas. 5-4. That's not an error. It's a slow hit ball to short. That ball is picked up by Aparicio. Rojas' base running rating is a three. The throw to first. He's safe and a run scores. Shineboom will come in to score. Kirkpatrick and Shaw and Rojas. The throw goes to first. Rojas beats it out. It's 10 to 6 Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay! That goes as an RBI single for Rojas. And Al Morris, he can pitch to 10 batters. And I wonder if he, and he can hit too. I wonder if you'll let him pitch here. Let me look at the Royal bullpen, see what I want to do. We still got Bergmeier, Hendlin, and Montgomery. Montgomery's a very capable pitcher. And it is the ninth inning, so you can bring in anybody. I'm going to I'm going to go to the pitch. I'm going to go to the bench. Fitzmorris is going to come out of the game and coming on to pinch hit for the Royals is going to be Steve Hovley. 270 average, three homers, 24 RBIs. Tatum is now tired. He will come out of the game now. 
And the Red Sox got to go to the bullpen here. And coming on to pitch for the Red Sox is going to be is going to be Lou Kraus. One win, three losses, a save, a 6.38 ERA, but hopefully does not do as well against righties as he does as lefties. So Lou Kraus is going to go ahead and he will come up to bat, come up to pitch. So Kraus will now bat in there really for one batter. Bases are loaded here. 10 to 6 Royals, bottom of the eighth. Red Sox pitching just not getting it done tonight. Kraus with the pitch. Kraus, 5-5, five, five, strikeout, 5, swing and a miss, struck him out. He does his job, and the inning is over. Two runs, two hits, a hit batter, two walks. But the Royals have a 10-6 lead here after 8. But will we see some ninth inning magic? We go to the top of the ninth, 10 6 Royals. Leading off for the Red Sox is Luis Aparicio. He's had a hard, he's had a good day at the plate, but a hard day in the field. He is three for four, two doubles and a single, but he's made both errors for the Red Sox in this game. Top of the ninth, and I can bring in anybody to pitch, and it is going to be. Coming on to pitch for the Royals will be Monty Montgomery. Three wins, three losses, no saves. A 304 ERA. It's not a save situation. What's more, it does get a hold here. But Monty Montgomery will come on to pitch against Aparicio to start the top of the ninth. 10 to 6 Royals. Fans here at Municipal Stadium enjoying what they see on the scoreboard. Montgomery with the pitch. Montgomery, 3-2 against the righty. Strikeout, 15 is high. Aparicio, 1-5, and that's a fly to right. Shine Bloom will get to it. He'll make the catch, and that's out number one. Now here's Captain Carl. He is one for four. He's got a double. Montgomery with the pitch. Montgomery, 2-2, two, two, walk, five. That is ball four. Captain Carl will draw a base on balls. So runner on first for the Red Sox. It'll bring up Smith. Smith is one for four. He's got a single. Infield is that double play. Fans here at Municipal Stadium already purchasing their tickets for Saturday night. Game four of this series. And it, will, it looks like it's going to be an elimination game for the Red Sox. Guys on it first. Montgomery, he will pitch. Montgomery, 3-2. Against the switch left. That is a blank. Smith, 5-3, and it's a base hit past second. Yaz, a base running rating of three. That will be good enough. He'll get to third. This game is not done yet. Runners at the corners, and now the batter is Petroselli. Petroselli is one for four. He does have a home run in this series. Runners at the corners now, still one out. The infield will play a double play depth. You're looking to try to get the double play and end this game. Montgomery will pitch to Petroselli, but now the tying run is on deck. Montgomery looks in. Petroselli waits for the pitch. Here it comes. Montgomery, three, four, strikeout, nine. That just missed. Petroselli. Four, five, it's a power hit to center field. That is a three. It's going to be a single against the right-hander. Yaz will come in to score. Single to center. Smith, base runner, three. Single to center, minus two. Smith gets the third on a one. And it's a six. Uh-oh. Smith is heading to third base. Center fielder is Otis. He has a minus one arm. A one to four. There could be a play. There is. The throw goes to third. A two to five. Smith is out. No. Smith is going to make it to third, but Petroselli is going to be doubled off at second base. As the runner, as the lead runner advances, the throw goes to second to get Petroselli. The run scores, but there's two outs. 
Holy cow, Petroselli tried to take second on the throw as Otis made a cut made a cutoff to Partek. Partek is there to tag Petroselli at second base. Two outs. It's now 10 to 7, though. What a boneheaded play by Petroselli. As he does get a base hit, but he's out at second. Holy cow! What are you thinking? As that is a one, the lead runner advances, the ball caught off, and the trailing runner is thrown out. That is the roll on a one. Don't see that often. Smith does get to third, but now two away. Now 10-7, to seven, and here's Pudge. And Pudge, looking at Petroselli, said, hey, man, great hit, but you know, Fisk is one for four. I went for three. He's got a single and a walk. Smith on his third, now 10-7, to seven, but with two outs. Fans here at Municipal Stadium are on their feet. Montgomery looking at Fisk. Fans here at Municipal are loud. Montgomery trying to get this game over. Strategy rolls are still off. Monty Montgomery with the pitch. 6-5. Range play at the park. Municipal Stadium. 5-4. It's a single plus double to left field. Now. The left fielder is Sweet Lou Pinella. He's going after this. His range is a three. Pinella on his high horse. He's heading for it, and he will leap. And he'll make the catch. That's your game. Royals will beat the Red Sox tonight. Ten to seven. They take a two-one series lead. Stadium cheers. Yay! A fly ball to left field. Lou Pinella needed a three. He got a three. It went into his glove. Pow! And that's your game. The Royals lead with it 10 to 7 in a crazy game here at Municipal Stadium. And the Red Sox are facing elimination on Saturday night. One run on two hits. But the play of the game's got to be Petroselli being thrown out at second base. If that doesn't happen, who knows what happens. What a heck of a win here by the Royals. And now they're one game away from moving on to the ALCS. Final line score coming up. For the Royals, 10 runs, 11 hits, 1 error. For the Red Sox, 7 runs, 11 hits, and 2 errors. The winning pitcher is Paul Splitorf. He's going to get the win and go to 1-0 in the postseason. Lynn McLaughlin is going to take a tough loss. He drops to 0-1. Abernathy and Fitzmorris will get holds. And I'm going to give Montgomery a save anyway. Because the tying run did get to, the tying run did get on deck. I know they wouldn't normally score it that way, but I'm going to give them a save for purposes of uh, statistics. So that is your game tonight. As the Royals now have a, take the lead in the series, a 10-7 win tonight. Tomorrow night we return back to the National League Division Series, the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. The game is at Wrigley Field for two games. It will be Ross Grimsley going for the Reds and Bill Hands going for the Cubs. A heck of a game tomorrow night. And that series has been crazy as I expected it would be. Reds, Cubs, Grimsley, and Hands tomorrow night. Be there or be square. PFLQR, Brian Patterson, David Vega, Webb Johnson. Uh, my Basement Media Productions, Jim Connell, D. Smith, Vita Productions, Dan Atkins. Uh, let's see here. Brian Patterson, David Vega, Mike Terra Supernova, Sports Time Machine, John Haverly, Brian B., and uh, Jeremy Brooks, Justin Ludwig, Al Red Sox fan. Check out his amazing channel. Phoenix Knight, Ryan Sullivan, Joe and Pico, Jimmy Jam. I think I got, and I think I got everybody. Thank you, and Frank Rosank. Thank you all for joining me tonight. 
Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so. Make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Kansas City Royals are one game away from the ALCS. They win tonight 10-7. They lead this American League Division Series two games to one. See you tomorrow night.